Daddy, 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 I knew you had to be okay. I knew it. Uh, listen, I, I would have called sooner, but the, the phone lines have been down because of this hurricane. This was the first chance I had to call you. Can you come home now? You know what? They just opened the airport about 10 minutes ago. I found this guy that was selling magic carpets, so I bought a yellow one. He told me it was supercharged, so I'll be there soon. <laughs> Please. Is that static, or am I talking to a teenager? It was me. It hasn't been that long. It's been way too long. I miss you. I really, really miss you. I can't wait to see applesauce. I miss you, too. And maybe I'll even be able to see you, too. Guess what? What? I'm having eye surgery today. What? You are? I'm at the hospital right now. My new cornea is already in waiting. Well, then I gotta get there. I gotta get there. What? 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 She's what is having it? her eye transplants done today. Today? Yes. Oh, give me that. Hey! Hey, little pumpkin head. Lucy! Oh! Hey, uh, now listen. Your daddy and me, we're right here, and we're sending you so much love. You have to feel like we're hugging you right now. I want you to picture it. We're wrapping our arms around you and squeezing you tight, okay? Do you feel it? Did you and daddy make up? Yeah, I, I guess we did. Lucy? Kevin? Hey, come on, G give me the phone. Uh, listen, Serena, your daddy's pulling the phone out of my hand, so I gotta go. I, I, I love you, I love you. Good luck, I love you. I love you, too. Bye. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye. Kevin? Yes? I just wanted to say thank you for coming to find me. Well, I guess we all would have been better off if I'd stayed home. Kevin, that's the smartest thing you said since you got here. And Daddy and Lucy are going to try and get home before my surgery. And when Daddy does, we are going to give him the most gigantic hugs he's ever had in his life, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Serena, it's time to get you ready for surgery. But Daddy's not here yet. Honey, don't you worry about a thing. Grandpa, would you come with me? Oh, absolutely. But why don't you hire me as your lawyer? Huh? Well, as your attorney, I can keep my eye on the doctors and the, and the nurses. Really? You bet. Cool. Come on, let's go. Okay. Come on, sweetheart. Okay, sweetheart, we'll, uh, we'll see you later. Dr. Adams Bye, Bye, honey. Bye, honey. It's so overwhelming, isn't it? Being dead and being alive, <sighs> Serena, it's the surgery. <laughs> oh, I, I can deal with this. The overwhelming part, and I, and I am very grateful that my family's going to be back together again. Thank you for letting me lean on you in the oh, last couple of weeks. Oh, that's what families are for, and I, I feel so blessed to have you with mine. <laughs> well, speaking of families, where did my future grandson-in-law go so quickly? Oh, home. As soon as he heard that Scott was okay, he went home to check on Neil. You know, um. This is not a nudge or anything from your grandmother, but I couldn't help but notice that your future husband certainly has a way with children. Joe is going to be the best dad. Hey. Hey. Guess what? Um, uh, aliens landed. Even better, my dad came over. He did. Sweetie, listen, um, we got a big day ahead. Why don't you go change your clothes, okay? We're not still going on a trip, are we? Dad is here. Yeah, well, we'll figure that out later, okay? Go on, go. Okay. Neil's father is here in Port Charles? Yeah, 
John showed up just when Neil and I were about to skip town. The well, guy always had a Skip pet town? Pet Courtney, I thought that we decided that you were going to stay and fight this. Yeah, well, that was before I heard the message John left on the answering machine. What did he say? It's more like what he didn't say. I've learned how to read between John's lines. I should have realized that he would show up here. Well, did he threaten you? No. It's not his style. He's a master at smiling in your face while he stabs a knife in your back. You're not still thinking about leaving, though, are you? Yes, I am. But this time, I'm doing it right. Frank's getting Neil and me fake passports. He's what? He's setting us up with fake identities, Joe. Courtney, Frank would do anything to get rid of you. Don't you see that? Yeah, well, if he can keep my son away from John Canellos, I really well, don't Courtney, care. No, it's already too late for that because Neil has seen his father. You can't just rip him away. I have protected my son from a father that threw him away. I pretended that his dad cared about his health when the truth is John doesn't give a damn about me. Exactly. Neil. Exactly. Which John has already proven himself. If he did care about Neil, he would have come back when Karen called and told him how sick Neil was. Courtney, you can use that. <sighs> Look, I'm, I'm no expert on your ex-husband, Courtney, but I do care about Neil. And I can promise you that life on the run will only hurt him. I can give Neil everything he needs right here. And if you kidnap him, you'll be living hand to mouth, changing schools and friends every three months. Now, is that the kind of life that you want him to grow up in? What I want is for Neil to grow up with a parent who loves him. If you run away, he's never going to know his father. And you know what? He's going to blame you. And he's going to hate you for it. Lucy, come on, come on. Stop hyperventilating here. Have a stick of gum. No, thank you. I'm just trying to relax. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Maybe this will make you feel better. Look at this. What is it? It's our flight plan. Oh, so what? So what? Look, as you can see, we're going to bypass Alligator Alley. Oh, well, good. But just tell me. Look me in the eye and swear to me. What are the odds we could crash again? Slim and none. Well, uh, how about an in-flight movie? I'll spring for the headphones. What's playing? Uh, it happened one night. How about the movie? Happened one night. Clark Gable, Claudette Colbert, great yeah, airlines shut showing up. old movies. I don't want to talk about that title. Well, I mean, don't you think this is a little bit ironic? I mean, I came down here to find Eve and to make sure that the cops don't get her. And guess what? Eve is in jail. Yep. Kevin came down here looking for you. He found me, all right, in bed with you. And now here we are on the same flight. This is not irony. This is not good irony. This is just... I don't know about that. I think and what we were talking about last night, I think you're right about this fate thing and, and throwing us together. Serena's surgery. I, I sure hope we make it back in time for that. Yeah, well, we will. We will. But don't you think it's a little bit weird at all that uh, we keep ending up side by side, hand in hand? A handcuff to handcuff? Yes, it's weird. Too weird. You know this about us. We just don't do this couple thing well. It gets us all crazy and nuts, though. That's because we were young and we were stupid. You know, I don't regret one thing that happened, not one teeny tiny moment. Except, of course, the fact that Kevin saw us. I'm glad that he saw us. I mean, the truth is out there. We don't have to, you know, sneak around. God. The truth is. We just make better friends, okay? That, that's the truth. I mean, it's just the fire and, and, and the caves and the jumping around and the explosions and all that stuff. It just boiled and boiled and boiled up into something more. Now, that's it. They're how do you story. know no, that's this? It. How do you know Because of two, everything. two, two very, very important reasons. Eve and my dog. Lucy, I, I gave it a shot with Eve. It didn't work. But 
you still care about her. This whole escapade adventure thingy that we have been on is because you wanted to find her. Well, of course, I, I care about her. I mean, not to mention the fact that she's the one that kind of took me back into the fun zone. Not to mention the fact you also did some stupid, and I mean really, 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 really stupid things to protect her. You have to care about her a lot. Yeah, oh, but the first time we're away from everybody and everything, what do we end up doing? We end up sleeping together. Yeah. So see there now? Don't you think we're fighting the inevitable? <sighs> Nervous? Oh, no, I, I'm just uh, uh, looking for the emergency exit. In fact, I, I, why don't I just check things out, if, if you're all right? I'm fine. I'll, I'll be right back. That's really subtle. Um, I, I, I do. I, okay. I have to go. Oh, okay. I'll back it. Oh, ow. Ow. Oh. 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 Victor, listen to me. I, uh, I, I don't know really what to say. I, I mean, Scott, see, we, we go way back, and all this stuff happened to us. It, it was like no, we were going to no, die, and I'm no, just you, sorry. You don't have to explain. You're a single woman. Yeah, but can you forgive? Well, I, I, I don't like it that Monk is so hurt, but I'm in no position to judge anyone else's choices in the romance department. Thank you. So, how is he? Well, he's not great. Finding you in Flagrante <sighs> awakened his deepest fears about your true feelings about Scott. I still love him, dis despite of all of this stuff. I. How can I do it? How can I convince him I still love him? Peanuts? What do you want, Scott? I'll tell you what I want, Kevin. I want to know what's going on with Eve. You've heard of air phones? Call the Port Charles PD. Look, come on. I know you're mad at me, but just get past that. I know you care about Eve, and she needs a good attorney right now, and I need to get up to speed. Eve's between a rock and a hard place because the best attorney she could get advised her to hide evidence. And just so you know, she has a new lawyer. Good. Terrific. What are the charges? Seems to me a brilliant legal mind such as yourself should be able to figure that out. Ah, uh, come on. Look, Kevin, if you really care about Eve, you'll get past your own ego here and tell me what's going on. Why? You need to start strategizing to save yourself? I put my career on the line for her. Which proves that your legal ethics are about as strong as your sexual ones. You know, this was a pointless conversation to have. Oh, I could have told you that start. before you even got out of your chair. Monk, 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 what? Monk, please don't fight over me. I hate to burst your bubble, Lucy, but we weren't even talking about you. We were talking about Eve. That is the best news I've heard since I... Well, you know what? I just think that is the best news that I've ever heard. And Daddy and Lucy are going to try and get home before my surgery. You... Uh, Serena, are you having the cornea transplant today? I'm at the hospital right now. Oh, gosh, Serena, I would give anything to be there with you. Why can't you? I, I have to testify uh, today, and I'm kind of stuck here at the courthouse. Could you come and visit me after? Killer asteroids couldn't keep me away. <laughs> And we'll have a big reunion with Daddy. I can't wait. There you go. Fake IDs, passports, social security cards. Great, Joe! You are unbelievable. What is you your problem? That? My problem is, is not only is this illegal, but you're using this opportunity to try to get rid of Courtney. I am trying to help her keep her son. Right. Since when did you have sudden interest in her welfare, huh? Hey, get off your soapbox, Joe. Listen, that is enough. Okay, I'm gonna get that. You two just... Calm down, okay? Hello, Courtney. Frank? You must be Joe. Needle's mentioned you. I want to thank you for all you've done for my son. Son? Well, would you get off calling him your son when you deserted him when he needed you most? Joe, don't. I assure you, you're underinformed about the situation. I can assure you that there is no room for you in Neil's life. My dear, he always could rouse a man to action. 
You will take that boy over my dead body. 